You're watching Blitz TV. Here we are, Louder Than Life. The four-year adventure begins. Well, actually, it began yesterday because we're on day two. In This Moment performs this afternoon, and it's going to be freaking awesome. We were lucky enough to have In This Moment perform our Blitzmas event last year, so good stuff. All right, so let's talk about, you know, the band, the new record, and all that stuff. Um, Chris, uh, I... You and Maria created the band. You, you kind of started it out first off. Um, talk a little bit about the, the co-founder-ish thing from Dying Star and how you became in this moment with all the guys. It's kind of an interesting story because we did Dying Star and it was more of like, almost kind of like what we are now. Uh, and at the time, we had the, some demos and we were putting it out. It was Maria and myself. We had Jeff, our original drummer, playing on those demos and some other guys. Um, and just... There was never any... Were you on the demo? Yeah. Travis was involved in so many different things with us at the beginning. We were even trying to get him to play guitar and in this moment before we had Blake. It's been a long road with him. But we had some demos going around and just wasn't really... Nobody was really getting into it. We weren't getting a buzz. And I kind of forced Maria to go a little bit heavier than she wanted to because at the time there was a whole big resurgence of... new. Uh, what is it called? Metalcore and all this stuff. So we put together... The in this moment that you hear on Beautiful Tragedy, and uh, it got attention right off the bat, and things started happening. And that's that's why we've kind of slowly developed over the years to where we are now, kind of getting back to where we always wanted to be. That was kind of how we got in the door at the time. At the time, it was honest from our heart stuff, but this is really kind of who we are now. And once you started to create a whole new group of guys and putting things together, it was kind of time to put a new name to it. You know, it, it really was. When we when the original guys quit. Right before we did Blood, we were kind of against the wall and had no, it was either like, do we quit or do we keep going? You know, we felt like everybody was kind of giving up on us, you know. And I, I called Randy. Travis was in the band at the time, and he was like, I'm staying. You know, we're going to do this. Um, and we just kind of made Blood. And with this band that we have now, backing it up, it just, I don't know, it clicked. And it was really cool for us to be involved and see that progression and you know, people showing up to the shows that weren't there before and singing the words to your songs. You know, we never really experienced that on that level. And with your stage show, too, I mean, there's more. I'm a person that loves a visual. I mean, I like not just to have great music, but I love the visual. I feel like that puts a lot more towards the audience because it, it gives us more for our money. Now, you guys literally just released the new album, Ritual, and, I mean, it's fresh out of the womb. So talk a little bit about, you know, sorry, I feel like we need a tea set. This little table, it, we were true. talking about that. So talk a little bit about the creation of Ritual and the sound. It's it's a little bit different from what you've done before. Is this kind of a heads up as to sort of the direction you might be headed? or? It's kind of hard to predict, like, that we're going to stay a certain way. You know, and Maria is the front person, and her lyrics are you know, the kind of the driving force behind the song and, you know, people relate to what she's saying. So a lot of times it depends on wh how she's feeling artistically, the direction of the sound. And she was definitely feeling a little bit more stripped down. And so were we all kind of like, we had a lot of really cool samples and I don't want to say campy, like talking it down, but like sex metal Barbie and fun stuff where we wanted to be a little more serious this time and more stripped down, I guess you say, but so Everything kind of lent itself towards that. And even now, Maria's kind of taking a little bit different direction stylistically, the way she looks and dresses on stage. So it's just kind of an evolving process. Yeah. And how high are her heels? <laughs> how many inches? Well, I think right now she's actually barefoot. Yeah, yeah she's going time. barefoot. Yeah, so we're, we're <laughs> talking it's right. changing up for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so what do, you, what do you kind of want people to take away from an In This Moment show and from an In This Moment record? Uh, one at a time or as a whole when they when they leave a show how do you want them to feel what do you want them to walk away feeling exactly pretty good we want them to feel pretty good <laughs> I like you we want them to be scared <laughs> no fun we, we pride ourselves a lot <laughs> on, on connecting Maria especially really connecting with the crowd and being uplifting and empowering and stuff that's what she's all about you know so yeah. I would say as a whole collectively too you know we want to really connect with the crowd make them feel Feel, good. feel like they're a part you know, of it, yeah, and and, and also p have people leaving feeling like they were they saw something. It wasn't just th the song; it was like a whole thing, you know. It's like a visual. Yeah. What was the last thing each of you? What was the last thing you saw or read or witnessed that inspired you on a creativity level? The last thing you remember. 
not sure I understand. Um, did you read something or see something maybe today that put you in a place where you feel like, I want to make something from that? Like that just impacted me so much I could write a song or maybe a lick or something or write something? Do when I stuck that cup under the Keurig this morning and the hot coffee <laughs> yeah, was going yeah. in. I was we like, share the same oh, moment. It's insane. I feel really creative. And I am pumped. <laughs> coffee. That's hilarious. <laughs> coffee. That's the answer. Coffee. Coffee inspired my day. <laughs> All right. Things. So Good as, question. A, as a kid, when you went to concerts yourself, how did you, how did you embrace it the most? Like, was it Listening to an album and reading all of the inserts, was it going to a live show? I mean, what was your favorite part about music and how did you take it when you were growing up? For me, I mean, I always, it was first the way the album cover looked, because back, I'm a little older, when you were looking at albums, you couldn't, like, listen to it first. You just saw, you know, saw it in the store and you were kind of taking a risk on if it was going to be good or not. So I remember the album cover would draw me in and then I would listen to every song, read the lyrics along with it read the liner notes while looking at the pictures Me too. all that stuff and then the concert was like the added bonus after you'd been obsessing over the album for months at a time yeah Definitely. you feel connected Definitely. to it too by reading all that stuff first and getting your perception of what the band is and then seeing it live and taking that in yeah you, know? yeah, you get absolutely. to know them before you see them and hear the record you know yeah. what i mean or you take it in while you're reading while you're listening to through the pictures and all that, that that's what was great about kiss when you got a kiss album you got a poster and you got a book and they look cool and they sound cool and obviously that's uh, rubbed off on us it's, a little bit yeah we love I kiss knew i liked you yeah yeah like paper love gun i mean love gun you got a gun like not a not a real gun you got a lot of paper Sorry. gun in the thing yeah, it was the yeah. coolest thing ever totally all right so last question and we'll wrap up um so when you have to individually sort of disconnect where do you go? What is an activity that you do to disconnect, to be away from... I play video games. I go into the world of the video game, and I just stay in there, and it's like the womb. <laughs> it really is. I got a problem with eBay. Oh. Sorry, honey. <laughs> it's true. Do you have a card? A what? Do you have an eBay card? I don't. What's that? Tell me. I think you should have an eBay card, like a special yeah, credit card. I'm doing it. <laughs> I do a lot of art myself. I make. I wear a mask on stage. I hand make them myself. So I do a lot of that at home and yard work. You know, anything that's not music related when I'm off the road is awesome. You know? Yard work is therapy. It really There's is. nothing better than digging in the dirt, man. I love exactly. that. Shit. I'm in Vegas, so it's just pure dirt. So a lot of raking of dirt. You know, rakes dirt. Man. A lot There's of dirt around. I'm really day. good at it. There's a lot of dirt in our life over here. All right, so you guys are set to hit the Zorn stage at 5:15. In this moment, these guys rock. If you've never seen them before make sure you check them out if you're not here at louder than life maybe you'll check them out on their tour they're going to be out for a while the new album ritual pick it up it's fresh out of the womb and don't yeah. you fucking forget it and they're Thank on the you. blitz thanks guys